Hey everyone, Chris Lewis from Fox 47's Digital Newsroom. Excited to have you back again for another We're Open segment. And today we've got Scott Rowland as well as Harry Sadis uh, from Lou and Harry's he, right here in mid-Michigan. We're going to be talking to them about how, how they're staying open in this, this challenging time, but also hear about some great things that they're doing. Guys, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having us on. Thank you. I'm really excited to be able to talk with you. Be, I know that not every person has walked into Lou and Harry's in the past. Give me a little bit of history and, and kind of the, you know, what people, what Lou and Harry's come to be known for. Lou and Harry's has started in 1992 as a little sandwich shop. We had multiple locations. We only have two right now. Um, and we're part of the community as, I mean, we like to do, I mean, um, I have to stress enough that this, uh, the money that Scott created was 100% his, his doing. And he wanted, he had seen all the stuff that we do throughout the years of charity that we do for churches, for our police department, for fire, for Michigan State, all, all different kinds of things that Lou and Harry's is all a part of. And again, without our community, Lou and Harry's would have never existed. I mean, the community built Lou and Harry's since 92. No one else did that except the community. Well, let's talk oh. a little bit about the, the giving back piece, because I know, Scott, um, one of the things that came to my attention was the fact that Lou and Harry's was giving back, giving back to some of our frontline workers to try to help them in their time of need. Tell me a little bit about what Lou and Harry's has been doing. So uh, my uh, growing up, my mom was actually a single mother uh, raising four children. She was a full-time nurse growing up. So, um, you know, I know firsthand of how all the trials and tribulations, nurses, doctors, all the frontline workers are going through in general. So it really hit home with me about how dangerous, uh, you know, they're putting themselves into and, and everything that they're going through right now. And um, a couple of friends I have that work in hospitals also said they've been eating a lot of cafeteria food if they're eating at all. So uh, we started a GoFundMe um, for the frontline workers. Every penny that we is donated to us, we turn into meals from Loon Harry's and deliver to the hospitals directly. We actually just delivered our first meal today for 40 uh, employees that are directly in the testing centers. Um, and they're really appreciative, they loved it. Uh, they, they're gonna send us some pictures so maybe we can forward them to you of um, them enjoying the food and everything. So we're really just trying to make sure that they feel comfortable uh, as much as possible through the hard times that everyone's going through right now. And it's just, um, you saw them all waiting outside the door with a smiling face. They had their masks on, but they were excited that somebody was thinking about them. And again, the 40 people is only a drop in the bucket. But again, if, if everybody does this, and this is what I was really proud of Scott, because he came up with it all by himself to figure out. And he came to me and I said, absolutely, we should do something. So this is really important for, you know, and I'm proud of the younger generations. As I started the company, you know, the younger generation doing this is awesome, you know, and it shows, it shows that we're, that we're helping the community as little as Lou and Harry's is, they helped us at once. Now we're helping them back. So talk to me a little bit now about Lou and Harry's now, the new reality, because every business that has been going through this, you know, whether they're giving back or not, have had to realize that there is a new reality. They've had to make changes to be able to keep their employees safe as well as their customers safe. And, and talk to me about that real, reality right now. Well, the new reality is kind of funny because mostly when people go into hospitality, it's for the interaction with all the people. So we've uh, pretty much had to cut that out completely. But uh, other than that, it's a lot of bleach sanitizer and, uh, and, and six feet distancing and social distancing as much as possible. So when we, uh, we do a lot of uh, pickup orders through uh, Grubhub, Uber Eats, you know, Postmates, DoorDash, around all those. And, you know, we just uh, make sure we're sanitizing all the services constantly, handles, all that stuff. Uh, when, when the delivery drivers come to pick up the food, we have a separate uh, area that keeps everything six feet apart from each bag. Um, so it's very safe, as safe as it can be. Um, but all you know, the all the screens for our, our, you know, our computer screens that we're touching because everything is computer. We're wiping those down, constantly going through gloves. You know, washing our hands. Our hands have kind of like dried out right now the way that we're washing them all the time. But uh, it has been difficult. Uh, you know, uh, 
you, just changing with everything and, you know, really trying to get as much going with delivery as we can and, and pickups. People are scared to walk into the stores and, you know, and grab their own food and everything. So it has been a challenging situation overall. One thing I think they also like is they like that couple of them that we've had come in saying that they're so happy we're open. It gives them some comfort that they remembered coming to Lou and Harry's or other restaurants. And that makes them like have at the end of the night, a smiling face, you know, again, what you can help a lot of the elder people that we know that don't live by themselves or with two people enjoy to just come and grab a salad. If there was one thing that you could say to the community that is, that is supporting you and continuing to, to, uh, to support you, what do you, what would you say to them? Thank you so much for the continued support. And we know that people are braving the scariness of coming out of their doors and everything like that to still, to still support us. And we've had people reach out to us and um, do orders, friends and family and longstanding customers that have just come out. They've gone so far the way to make sure they're placing orders with us and continually to just try to help us, you know, stay safe because, you know, it has been, it has been uh, difficult to, to roll with all the punches that keep being thrown, you know, every day is a different story. So, you know, overall, just thank you so much. And we, you have no idea how much we appreciate all the support from the community that comes our way. I mean, it's, it really makes us feel better, you know, to, you know, sometimes you just, it's, it really shows you how appreciative everyone actually is, you know. And they, they really ask if we're going to be all right. And we always tell them, we'll all get it through it together. You know, and, and that a lot of them asking us, will you still be open through these bad times or how will you get through it? And, you know, we'll all get through it together. This is, this is not, this isn't only about Lou and Harry's. Now, if people, if people want to know more about the, the GoFundMe, if they want to find out, you know, they want to see your menu, they want to order, you know, what's the best place that they should go? Or where's the best place that they should go to be able to get that information? Our, our website is www.luhas.com, um, L-O-U-H-A-S.com. And then we also, our uh, Facebook and Instagram accounts are really active. Uh, our Facebook has all the information on the GoFundMe, which is luhaslansing.com on Facebook. Um, it has all the information, you, it, all the links and everything like that. We post, uh, we're making little creative videos. We just made one that looks like a superhero, uh, action video of us delivering the food, um, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, the, the Facebook for Luaz is, uh, is Lou and Harry's is really, is really good place for the information for us.